I should have changed that stupid lock. I should have made you leave your key. If I'd have known for just one second, you'd be back to bother me. Oh, now go. Walk out the door. Don't hang around here. Cause you're not welcome anymore. What exactly is deepfakes, you might be asking yourself? Well, deepfakes are starting to take over the video and movie production industry. You can take a picture or video of someone and then their face is put on someone else, without their knowing either. This can cause troubles. So far, the deepfake software is kept to professionals, but in years to come, this process could be made public. What if someone takes a video and puts the president on someone else's message, and then we could very well be at war with someone? This is a very high-tech artificial intelligence, and once the software goes public in 10 years or less, we could have some serious issues. So, so I'm here to ask, what is your opinion on deepfakes and how it can affect our society in the near future? I think it's really interesting how technology has progressed that much, except it's scary because like people will be able to impersonate important people like political figures and other things around that and spread false information that way. I think it will um, cause the next World War III off some uh, misunderstanding. It's sort of sad though, but hey, you know what, that's how it is. I'm, I'm sorry, Lester, it's, it's, this is going so well. <laughs> I think it's a really cool idea for the digital media field and opens up a lot of opportunities, but at the same time, I can see why it would cause a lot of harm, maybe, and if people mess around too much, it can get us in a lot of trouble. I think deep fakes are actually really cool within technology, but that they can be a problem with not knowing like who they're from. Like someone can obviously fake someone. Like if there were to be a figure, authoritative figure, to like create a threat, and like that could not be good because we don't know if it was actually them or if it was just some like you know like 20 year old in their basement just creating a deep fake. <laughs> If I win, Bruce said something about you having to take us all to brunch? Well, I think that we should show our real face and we should not be all two-sided. Just be real. Overall, I find deep fakes interesting but don't want them to become public. In this next video, Paul Walker, who was in the Fast and Furious movies, died in a fatal car crash in 2013. Cody Walker, his brother, filmed the final scenes of Fast and Furious 7 in his honor. You'll always be with me. And you'll always be my brother. Dun 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 What are your names? Lord Farquhar. Uh, I am Princess Consuelo Banana Hammock. Okay. <laughs>